เขามาแคมป์อยู่ริมชายหาดที่เมืองบาคาแคลิฟอร์เนียในเม็กซิโกอ่ะเจ้า Is that so, true? Yeah, it is true. <laughs> so what do you think after one and a half year on the road? What we may have developed in this one and a half year on the road is a little bit the social phobia. You remember that Ramon Serrano. <laughs> Welcome to Next Horizon. We are Jill and Ernst, a Thai Swiss couple, and we are living and traveling full time in our land cruiser. หลังจากที่เราเดินทางเป็นนกขมิ้นมาได้ปีกึ่งแล้วนะเจ้าเราก็เห็นไอ้ยังมากมายไก่กองที่เราบัเคยเห็นมาก่อนอย่างเช่นตอนเนี้ยเขามาแคมป์อยู่ริมชายหาดที่เมืองบาคาแคลิฟอร์เนียในเม็กซิโกอ่ะเจ้าซึ่งเขาเกาะเริ่มต้นการเดินทางที่ประเทศโมร็อกโกก่อนแล้วก็ข้ามมาสเปนโปรตุเกสแล้วก็เอารถข้ามเรือมาอเมริกาผ่านแคนาดาจากเหนือสุดลงมาอเมริกาผ่ากลางลงมาถึงตอนนี้เขาอยู่ที่เม็กซิโกเจ้าซึ่งก็เป็นเวลาปีกึ่งพอดี Is that so, true Yeah it is true <laughs> So what do you think after one and a half year on the road What I like most Ah that's difficult One thing it is really beautiful you know It is not any more a vacation, of course. It, it is our daily life to mm. be out in the landscape, to be on the road. And what I really love about this life is every day is new, mm. isn't it? You know, brand new day. <laughs> brand new day. You remember when we lived in the house, we had this and here that problem you always carry problems on and on and on through the days through weeks and even months but since we are on the road it is not every day is nice and beautiful of course sometimes it is difficult sometimes we have bad experience but the next day it is fresh and new and everything what was yesterday is already far away And what is coming tomorrow? I mean, who cares about that today? You know mm. that that is coming then tomorrow. We have to see it tomorrow. So we are living very much in the moment, and I think that is the most beautiful thing of traveling, be out in the landscape. And just live like this, isn't it? We are full-time nomads. <laughs> full-time nomads and living just. In the moment, mm. right now, right here, where we are. What do I know if what tomorrow brings? <laughs> we will see that tomorrow. And yesterday, that is already far mm. away, mm. isn't mm. it? But there are many memories about different places we have seen, isn't it? Yeah. For example, like in Morocco, is completely new for me because. New culture, new cult, country, new people, but it was so impressive. It is true, you know the the people is so friendly, so inviting in Morocco. That was a very beautiful experience, and then the landscapes. Remember to the these landscapes. Have a look to those landscapes. <music>
a beautiful was Spain, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I enjoy traveling through Spain. Those landscapes and the Sierra we, we visited. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Also the food was good, you know. Wow. You remember that Jamon Serrano. Wow. And inexpensive. Not, right. Yeah. It's the States was much more expensive mm -hmm. than, than Spain or so. But have a look to those landscapes <laughs> in Spain. That was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. So the cost of Portugal. What we may have developed in this one and a half year on the road is a little bit the social phobia. <laughs> we are so many times for us alone out in the landscapes. Just me and you, isn't it? Yeah. But that's somehow cozy. We feel well like this. That's okay. Once in a while we meet other people and then that is nice too isn't it but mostly we are for us alone in the landscape yeah once in a while we live with the local but very rare very rare that is true mostly we just stay for ourselves correct oh we have the bear as a visitor <laughs> oh coyotes right. or right that is squirrels enough. that is enough social life another thing i remember you know one of the very first days we've been on the road i was happy to visit that buddhist monastery in france uh -huh. remember <laughs> that yeah, one yeah, yeah, yeah. remember that and to our surprise they had a ceremony there there was a tibetan monastery you know mm -hmm. and we said oh wow they have a ceremony, ceremony there let's go into the ceremony hall and see what they do and when we wanted to enter they say are you member said, no we, we are not members and then they say you have to go i say what well, but we are buddhist what they just Close Shut the door. <laughs> so who knows? I don't know what was wrong with them, you know. But I, I later noticed they had uh, problems of uh, sexual abuse, yeah, accusations yeah. of children, and stuff like this. I think they they don't like to have foreigners there. But very strange experience yeah. that one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, uh, we have because some from, good experience, some right. strange from, from, experience. From Thailand we are, know, we are known that Buddhist monastery, they, are, they open doors the to doors, everyone. Yeah. Huh? Doors are open for everyone. Right, and not like that. That was a strange experience. For me another most impression was um, to be in Eskimo village. All right. Yeah. Wow, that was that was so that was so impressive for me because um, the people there are so nice and friendly. And not only this, everyone looked like you. <laughs> the, the people ask her, "Are you from British Columbia?" <laughs> and then so I said, "No, no, I'm I'm from Switzerland. I'm Thai." And the lady there. Busy? Uh, no, not <laughs> <British> busy. 
<laughs> that was funny somehow. The the people up there thought she is one of them, you know. I feel like home somehow. Yeah, sure, that was like home because all the other parts of North America we saw was white men only. And you <laughs> was only the foreigner and there up there I was the stranger. <laughs> that was a good experience. And that was the first time we test whale meat. Right, whale mm. meat. Beluga. Beluga. Beluga we taste there. That was right. การเดินทางเป็นนกขมิ้นนะเจ้าเนาะในรถค่ําไหนนอนนั่นมันก็ต่างจากการใช้ชีวิตในบ้านอย่างสิ้นเชิงเจ้าเพราะว่าเราต้
gut. Jetzt, goodbye.